Good morning and welcome. If this is your first time joining us in Ridge Kids, we're glad that you're here online with us. Uh, if you've been here before or every week, welcome back. So last week we, we kicked off September and we talked about two new themes. And for our Ridge Kids Junior, which is going to be the first part of our service, that's preschool, toddlers, and kindergartners. They're talking about making decisions and this theme of this or that. And then we have so many choices in life. Uh, and how do we decide what's best? And so we're looking at that, the idea that God knows everything and God knows what's best in our lives. And to be able to understand what that is, we need to get to know God. So that's what your Ridge Kids Junior students are going to be working on. And then the second half of the service is going to be for Ridge Kids. If you have a first through sixth grader, we hope that you'll enjoy that and stick around with us. And it's the idea of harmony and that when we have friends that we can work together and that we're better because of that. And that God didn't design us to, to walk in faith alone, but he puts friends around us. As we get older, he puts our husbands or wives um, for marriage and our family to help us to grow in Christ. So I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. Um, I hope that you get a lot out of it. And whoever's with you at home, parents, you can interact and engage in this and talk together, pray together, read your Bibles. At the end of the service, I have a few questions I want to ask you, so I hope that you stick around. But enjoy the service. We'll see you soon. You move my feet Forever I am marching to your beat I lift my hands Forever I am trusting in your plans Your plans, yeah Trust in you I'm running free Because of who you are You're lighting me It's shining like a star I will never be the same You're always in my heart I'm running free Because of who you are I'm running free I'm going God's way He's changing me I'm going God's way In all my life I've never ever left my side, my side, no You know what's best Your ways are better than the rest, the rest, oh Oh, you see me through Oh, I'll trust in you I'm running free Because of who you are, you're light in me it's shining like a star I will never be the same You're always in my heart I'm running free Because of who you are I'm running free I'm going God's way He's changing me I'm going God's way It is it's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Friends, I'm Jayla. Today is a very cool day. Do you want to know why? Because today I'm going to be doing an awesome science experiment. Do you want to do it with me? Great. These are the directions. They tell us exactly what to do. Let's see what they say. The directions say we need a plate. Check. Next we need some water. Next, we need some pepper. <laughs> the 
the last thing it says we need is blue soap. But I don't have any. But I do have blue paint. My dad is at the store getting blue soap. Should I wait for him and use the blue soap? Or should I use the blue paint? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Doing a fun experiment, are you? Yes, Ollie, I am. The directions say I need blue soap, but I don't have any. Following directions is important. It's true. And God's directions are the best for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I have a great story for you today about making choices. We all have choices to make, like, should I bring an umbrella with me today or should I not? It's a good thing I chose to bring this umbrella. Now, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Pharaoh. Pharaoh was the king of a place called Egypt, and he did very mean things to God's people, the Israelites. Pharaoh made them do very hard work for a very, very, very long time without paying them. And Pharaoh wouldn't let them leave. Can you give Pharaoh a thumbs down like this? Now say, that's not good. That's not good. God saw that his people needed help, so he sent a man named Moses to lead them to a better place to live. God used Moses to make Pharaoh let his people go. Everyone say, hooray! Hooray! So Moses led the people out of Egypt, away from Pharaoh, and into the desert. While they were in the desert, God told Moses to tell all of his people to go camp near the Red Sea. They didn't understand why God would send them that way. Now they have a choice to make. Will Moses and God's people go God's way or their own way? What should they do? Okay, let's see. Yay! They went God's way. Good choice. While they were camping, they looked up and saw Pharaoh and his army coming towards them. Oh no! What are Moses and God's people going to do? Moses told God's people, trust God and don't be afraid. God knows what is best for us. God will make a way. Then God told Moses to stretch out his staff over the sea. So Moses did what God said. And look what is happening. The sea is parting and making a dry path for them to walk on. God made a way for his people. After they walked safely to the other side, God closed the waters and kept Moses and his people safe from Pharaoh and his army. That was amazing! Moses and God's people trusted that God knew what was best for them. And we can trust that God knows what's best for us too. Oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. Yes, it's true! Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God knows what's best for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God knew what was best for the people in our story. And God knows what's best for us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Look, Dad just sent up the blue soap. Let's see if following the directions make the science experiment work. 
Yes, it worked. I can't wait to tell my friends about it. See you next time. Bye.
twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was... Uh, uh, a little flat? Yeah. It, it was... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 here, here, let's play it back. Please don't. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's an auto-tuner. Yeah, it'll <laughs> John, be great. no amount of auto-tuning is going to fix... Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I'm cry. I wish I could hear it. I have no headphones. Oh no! No, 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 not again. Okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm John, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. Show. What a show we have for you today. Yes, oh yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Mm -hmm. yes. Are we forgetting something? It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah, did you get peanut butter? Check. Two jars. Check, check. Hmm. Did you binge all 10 hours of the new season of Professor Gamma and his search for meaning? Check. Did you comb your hair? Check. Hmm. Did you write a letter to your pen pal in Cedar Rapids? Check. Did you pay your water bill? Check. Hmm. Did you do your morning uh, stretches? Check. Huh. I mean, what is it? Wow, we told Melinda Manners that we would learn wow. that song. Yeah, right. She asked us to learn a new song and we promised we would. Yeah, but we haven't. Yet. Yet! So let's get to it before she gets here. How hard can it be? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, do, do you know where the music is? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I have it around here somewhere. It's not on the Rock'em Sock'em. Did somebody say Manners? Melinda! Welcome back! How? Welcoming with words is something I commend, but welcoming with actions can prove you are my friend. <laughs> and by my actions, I mean perhaps offer me a chair so I'm not standing here looking from person to person trying to give you a hint sometimes called a social cue. Oh, right, oh, right, 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 a uh, chair, chair. Here's a chair, it's, it's still got a chair. <laughs> All right, so, uh, for those of you that may not have met Melinda before, uh, she's a friend of ours that, that teaches us how to use good manners. Yes. Quite right. <laughs> when you're with a good friend, someone you can trust, you can be yourself, but good manners are a must. Which brings me to the reason I've come here today. I've been looking for that. Oof. Oh. Oh. Thank mm. you. All right. I believe we are ready. Oh, oh, you mean for the... For the song you promised to learn so that we could all sing together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little warm up. I my voice. We love our voice. Let us begin. When I think of friendship, that's when you come in. I sing, when I think of friendship, and you sing, I think Think about you. Think about you, yes, of course. Yes, yeah, I must have slipped yes. my... Uh -huh. yeah, okay. yeah, we got it now. Quite all right, once more. When I think of friendship... I think about you. We count on each other. It's true. So true. true. Did you not like the original lyrics? No, I mean... I think, I think, I think... No, quite all right, I think... I like, it's true, so true, we can rehearse something different, I just thought. 
We count on each other like a new pair, pair of shoes. shoes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the original lyrics are way yeah, better. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, we'll go from the top. Let's do it. When I think of friendship, I think about you. We count on each other like, like a new pair of shoes. Piano solo! And then we all come in together. It's important to remember the December or September that a friend's a friend's of course no matter if your voice is hoarse. We promised we'd learn this song but it's quite but clear we're like totally wrong. wrong. We're just we're going to keep singing, singing pretending that we know, we know what, what we're, we're doing, doing, but we actually have no clue. clue. And now we, we look, look we like, like a like couple of buffoons. buffoons. Well, I must admit I am a bit Disappointed. Are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Melinda, I'm sorry. Yeah, we we promised you we'd learn this song and, and we forgot. I, I, Thank you for your apology. But I do think it's time for my next appointment. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Oh, man. I feel terrible. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Well, I know a good place to start. Time machine. No. Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Yeah, hey. What's up, fellas? You seem blue. Yeah, we just... We just let down a friend of ours and... and... We're wondering if you can help. Yeah, we, we promised her we'd do something for her, and we didn't do it. Oh man, that's tough. You know, I don't know if it will help everything, but I do have a story about a couple of friends from the Bible that went through some tough times together. That sounds good, Kellen. Take it away. All right. Our story today is about one of the more famous people from the Old Testament, David. What's going on? I'm David. Now, David had done some incredible things for Israel. He had defeated the giant Goliath in battle, and he was made a leader by King Saul. But King Saul eventually became jealous and did not care for David. Uh, I'll get you, David! Arr! In fact, Saul wanted to kill David. Die, David! Die! Um, yeah, King Saul was a very angry dude, which is why this next part is so crazy. David's absolute best friend in the whole wide world was King Saul's son, Jonathan. Well, hello to you. Name's Jonathan. One day, David went to talk to Jonathan. Hello, bestie. My father wants to kill you. Oh. Tomorrow, hide in a field. I will bring my father and then tell you what I find out. Brilliant! The next day, Jonathan talked to his father, King Saul, and Saul promised not to kill David. But sometime later, while David was playing his harp, suddenly King Saul flew in with a rage. Ah! He threw a spear and tried to kill David. Ah! Uh-oh. After running from Saul for some time, David found his best friend, Jonathan. Your dad is trying to kill me. I promise I'll find out what my father's going to do. But promise me your friendship. Be kind to me as long as I live and never stop being kind to my family. I promise. Days later, Jonathan discovered that his dad really did want to kill David. 
So Jonathan gave his friend the terrible news. <laughs> David! <laughs> Jonathan! Go in peace. We have promised to be friends. God is a witness between your children and my children forever. David had no choice. He had to leave his friend. But he always kept his promise. Time passed, King Saul died, and so did Jonathan. And the new king of Israel was David. And he remembered the promise he made to Jonathan. Huh, I wonder if anyone is still alive from the family of Saul. I want to be kind to them because of my friend, Jonathan. Zeba! You cold, your majesty. Is there anyone still alive from Jonathan's family? God has been kind to me. I want to be kind to that person in the same way. Hmm, let me think. <clears throat> oh, a son of Jonathan is still living. I'll bring him to you. <laughs> Jonathan's son was named Mephibosheth. Both of Mephibosheth's feet were hurt badly and he couldn't walk. And because of that, he wasn't always treated with kindness. But David had Mephibosheth's back and he brought him in to give him some pretty incredible news. But Mephibosheth was very afraid. Mephibosheth? I'm ready to serve you. Mephibosheth! The resemblance is uncanny. I will be kind to you because of your father, Jonathan. And I want to give you back all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul. And I will provide whatever you need. What? Why? Your father, Jonathan, was a dear friend. I made a promise to him. And friends keep their promises. David was true to his word. Mephibosheth was always taken care of, and David remembered him, just like he promised Jonathan he would many years before. The end. Wow. Yeah. Incredible story, Kellen. Yeah, I think so. David didn't have to keep that promise to Jonathan. In fact, in many ways, David and Jonathan could have been rivals, but David remembered his friends and the promises he made. Man, I wish I could be more like David. <laughs> well... David wasn't perfect. He made some pretty big mistakes. And, you know, he was human just like us. But God was still able to use him. And we can still learn from his story today. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Yeah. All right, I'll see you next time. You know, it's good to have friends you can trust. Absolutely. I trust you, buddy. Oh, well, thank you, and I trust you. Yeah. Everyone should have a friend they can trust. In fact, reveal the question. Mm. Who is a friend you can trust? Yeah, you know, a friend you can trust is someone who's there when you need them. Yeah, they're the kind of person who does what they say they'll do. Yeah, they <laughs> keep their promises. Like we should have done with Melinda. Yeah. You know what, maybe it's not too late. It, it took years for David to finally keep his promise to Jonathan. You're right. Let's not wait years to keep our promise. Mm. Let's work on the song. Absolutely. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. So with So. How did it start again? It was. Ah, uh, it was a pair of shoes. No, that was not the beginning. That oh. was when oh. you need a friend. I think uh, it's you. When I think of friends. When I think of your friends, they wear lots of shoes. That's it. Yeah. When I think of your the friends, friends, they, they wear, wear lots, lots of shoes. shoes. Then we went to the store. And Not there was the horse. Outlets. There's a horse in there. Oh, horses. You have some horses. horses. Our friendship is incredible. Stronger than Elmer's glue. Excellent. <laughs> that was exactly the way it sounded in my head. <laughs> You learned the song like you promised. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being such good friends. Absolutely, absolutely. Now on to choreography. Right. Two, three, four. <laughs> kickball change, oh. kickball change. Shot of pot of pot of hooray. So the shot, so the shot. PK turn, PK turn. I don't know any preacher's kids. <laughs> 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 Oh.
Our Bible story today comes from 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel, and it has one of the funnest and most challenging names in the Bible to say. So this is the idea of David and Mephibosheth. And so you can try to say that at home. But the idea that friends keep their promises. And as we hear in this story, um, it doesn't, it's not always easy to know what a friend really thinks. And the question I had for you is, what is a trustworthy friend? So as we read in scripture, sometimes people are trustworthy and sometimes they're not. And so what I want you to consider today is that a friend always keeps their promises. So as we talked about last week and how important it is to, to follow Christ with others and with friends and family, um, think about what are those promises or what are those things that you need to keep uh, keep true on or keep, keep real with your friends. Because the idea that friendships are more than just the good times, it also includes the challenging times. So spend time today praying about that and how can you support your friends and how can you be a trustworthy friend. And lastly, think about that memory verse. So it says that uh, in Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loves at all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. So being a trustworthy trustworthy friend means not just in the good times, but in the challenging times, are we going to be there for each other? And I believe that's how God wants us to live, and that's who he wants us to be. So enjoy your week. Hopefully that you're spending time with your friends that you already have, and then that you're building new friendships, maybe at school or on your sports teams this month. So I hope you guys have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you back next week. See you later, Ridge Kids.